you, Mr. Speaker. Um, at the end of last week, I was able to take to the floor some of my colleagues to talk about high-level nuclear waste and, and Yucca Mountain. Uh, part of that time, I wanted to make sure, I, as I have each week, highlight certain locations around this country where high-level nu nuclear waste is stored. Uh, because of time constraints, I wasn't able to do that. So I take to the floor this morning to uh, highlight um, a nuclear power plant in Florida called Turkey Point. And the way I do this, Mr. Speaker, is I uh, have this poster in front of me and I compare the location of high-level nuclear waste at Turkey Point to the uh, defined by law location for a single repository in this country, which is Yucca Mountain. So look what we have here. At Yucca Mountain, we have currently no nuclear waste on site. At Turkey Point, there's 1,074 metric tons of spent fuel on site. That's quite a lot of fuel. At Yucca Mountain, if we had waste stored at Yucca Mountain, the, the waste would be stored 1,000 feet underground. Yucca Mountain is, is a mountain. At Turkey Point, waste is stored above ground in pools. Now, why is that an important point to consider? The nuclear um, uh, catastrophe in, in uh, Japan, the Fukushima Daiichi plant, part of the major disaster was because of high-level nuclear waste stored in pools. The earthquake occurred. Uh, either the water that was there boiled out or there was cracks in the containment value or, and, it, and it spilled out. Then the nuclear uh, waste uh, heated up and hence you have a, a very dangerous situation still in Japan. At Yucca Mountain, the waste would be stored 1,000 feet above the water table. You know. But here at Turkey Point, which is in Florida, it is, it is, the waste is on the Biscayne Bay at sea level. So it's at sea level, not uh, in a mountain, in a desert. What we've done also is look at if you're at Yucca Mountain, how far are you away from the, the you know, really the largest body of water, which would be the Colorado River, where Yucca Mountain's 100 miles from the Colorado River. Turkey Point and the nuclear waste stored there is 10 miles from the Everglades. 10 miles from the Everglades. So we passed, I wasn't a member of this chamber at that time, a federal law called the Nuclear Waste Policy Act in 1982. When we passed that law, we defined Yucca Mountain as the national repository, a single repository for not just nuclear waste from our, our nuclear power fleet, but also the nuclear waste from our Department of Energy locations from around the country. Obviously, we're still we're very close, but this administration, along with the NRC commissioner, has delayed and postponed and tried to stop any movement on Yucca Mountain. And that's why I take the floor as the subcommittee chairman of the Energy and Environment Subcommittee, part of my jurisdiction, is uh, high-level nuclear waste. And um, that's why I come to the floor weekly to address this issue. Now. This is very timely this week as Chairman Yasko and the NRC commissioners appear between our government and oversight committee. Chairman Yasko, in an article dated December 7th said, I welcome debate, I welcome discussion, I welcome criticism. But a letter sent to the Chief of Staff of the White House, uh, Mr. Bill Daley, by the other four commissioners, bipartisan, two Democrats, two Republicans, three appointed by the President, say this about Chairman Yasko. He's intimidated and bullied senior career staff to a degree that he has created a high level of fear and anxiety resulting in a chilled work environment. They also say he ordered staff to withhold or modify policy information and recommendations intended for transmission to the commission. Uh, he has also ignored the will of the majority of the commission, contrary to the statutory functions of the commission. And he has attempted to intimidate the advisory committee on reactor safeguards. This is part of the problem of us not having a national policy to move to a centralized location for high-level nuclear waste 
in a desert underneath a mountain at Yucca Mountain. We have senators who have voted for that in this area, the two senators from Florida, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, all support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back my time. The gentleman's time has expired. The